This is Pastor John Winkleman here at Grace Church of Rockford reading our Grace Mail Weekly Devotional. Tragedy. Evil. Why? In the wake of natural disasters, terrorist attacks, and mass shootings, we hear these words repeated often. As believers, as those who approach life from a biblical perspective, how do we respond? What comfort can we give and what answers can we find in the Word of God? There are many passages we could go to, but today I was struck by some verses in Philippians. The title of our uh, lesson today will be, There Will Be a Reckoning, from Philippians chapter 3, verses 18 through chapter 4, verse 1, which reads, For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Therefore, my beloved and longed-for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. Acts of wickedness and evil are perpetrated by those who are enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. They are selfish, self-serving, self-focused, and self-worshipping. They glory in shameful things and only think about the here and now. Verse 21 reveals that there is coming a day when all things will be subdued by Christ. When that time comes, the destruction that is the end of those who live this way will be experienced. These truths remind us that there will be a reckoning. Evil will not go unpunished. As Paul writes to the Philippian church, he presents them with a powerful contrast. As believers in Jesus Christ, as those who have tasted of his grace and been transformed by his Holy Spirit, we are to live differently. We are citizens of heaven. We are awaiting the arrival of Christ who will transform us. In light of these precious promises, we stand fast. The ability to stand fast comes through the Lord. We stand fast in him. Evil is a reality of a fallen sinful world. However, evil will not go unpunished. There will be a reckoning. Destruction awaits those who are the enemies of the cross of Christ. They will be subdued. They will be judged. Future glory is in store for the believer. That is our reality. Until Christ returns and we enter eternity with him, we must stand fast. Do not be moved. Remain faithful. Tragedy and evil will have their end when Christ returns. In his presence, the question why that is so often on our lips will finally be answered. Until then, we press on. May God bless you and give you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.